NeoVim, a highly extensible keyboard-based editor designed to optimize the productivity of modern programmers. In 1976, Bill Joy created VI. In 1991, it was improved by Bram Molinar as Vim. Then in 2014, NeoVim came along. It's a fork of Vim, making it a drop-in replacement that's 99% identical for basic usage. All of your favorite, help, I can't exit Vim memes are still perfectly valid, but its codebase was restructured with well-documented APIs that embrace new features from the community, which has resulted in a thriving plugin ecosystem. Most importantly, scripting can be accomplished in not only VimScript, but also Lua, an easy-to-learn multi-paradigm language that's also used on platforms like Roblox. Lua was used to write its built-in language server protocol for code autocompletion. It has a scriptable terminal emulator, in addition to tons of awesome plugins like Telescope, a fuzzy finder that can search across your file system. To get started, install NeoVim, then open it with the nvim command. It just like regular Vim, hit I to go into insert mode and start typing, then hit escape to go back to normal mode. Mode. Use a colon to enter command mode, like when you need to ask the computer for help. But the fun thing about NeoVim is customization, which can be handled with the traditional init.vim file, or alternatively, an init.lua file. Inside this file, we can use Lua code to configure basic settings, like whether or not to use tabs or spaces. As the config grows more complex, we can break it into modules in the Lua folder, which will automatically be loaded by NeoVim. From there, we can use a package manager like Packer to install a color theme like One Dark, and some icons to go along with it. You'll need an LSP server for code completion, you might also want nvimtree to easily explore the file system, tree sitter for syntax highlighting, and telescope to more efficiently search across your project. From here, we can further customize each plugin as needed with its own dedicated Lua file. Now, all this configuration might feel a bit overwhelming. If you just want an IDE with minimal effort, simply install a starter config like nvchat. You'll have syntax highlighting, code completion, along with all kinds of other essential tools. And now you're ready to start writing code like a 10x engineer. Now that we're finished, I could tell you how to exit this but then I'd have to kill you. This has been NeoVim in 100 seconds. If you want to learn more, subscribe to TJ DeVries, your leading expert on everything NeoVim. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.